Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB and today I just want to talk about depression. And if I'm honest with myself and if I'm honest with everybody out there, I've been going through it. And it's, you know, to be expected. It's to be expected, but I like to be uh, transparent, and that's why I haven't made any videos. If I don't feel inspired, then I can't. I can't do anything about it. So, what I was thinking was, and this is what we often have to do, is find ways to get out of a slump. Find ways to get out of depression, because on this journey, you're going to have bouts of it. You're going to be in and out of it. It's the pendulum effect right because when we get out of the matrix this is what we have to go through so here's five ways to come out of depression and there are hundreds of ways too but here are just five just to get you started right and we're going to go from the least beneficial to the most beneficial and not to say the least the least is definitely beneficial, but it's in the order in which I perceive them to be. So number five is forcing yourself to do activity, forcing yourself to get out of the bed, forcing yourself to go on outing. Because when you're inside of a depression or a slump, you don't feel like moving. You don't feel like getting out of the bed. You don't feel like brushing your teeth, combing your hair. You just don't feel like it. So I encourage you guys to get out of the bed and to make yourself nice and to get out of the house and go do something. Whether it's gardening, whether it's to meet up a friend with lunch or a family member for lunch, or to even take yourself out on a date for lunch. Get out and do something. Force yourself to. Number Number four is uh, exercise. Exercise, the endorphins in our body, it changes everything. Oxygen, we need oxygen. This is what I came to find out because I've been on this little fitness journey. Can you guys tell? Probably not. <laughs> but I can, and I'm going to show you guys pictures. But anyway, so exercise, I've noticed I got a little boom. And see, I have to force myself to do it. When you force yourself to do things, it really does change everything. So I have been doing this, and it helps with oxygen. It changes your blood, oxygenates your blood. It brings oxygen to your brains, and therefore you're able to come up with some creativity, you know, creative ideas and stuff like that. So exercise is definitely important. It changes your mood. It changes your, your emotions, and it changes your body. So it's all around good get out and do some walking jogging whatever you deem fit as exercise okay number three is talking to someone talking to someone you know when we are on this journey we're i don't know about you guys but for me it tends to be isolating i love my solitude but every now and then you need somebody to talk to so if you can't find a friend to share this information with, because a lot of times if you're on this awakening path, you're not going to have the individuals in your life that you need to talk to about the spiritual concepts. You know what I'm saying? Some people think we're crazy. We're loony. So you need that individual that can resonate with what you're speaking of or someone who is not judgmental that you can talk to and give your most deep thoughts and emotions to so you don't suppress it and it will feel so much better and if you don't have that person to talk to I remember telling somebody in uh, one of the the groups 211 call 211 anonymously you can talk to someone they can give you a counselor or someone to talk to and it will be anonymous you don't have to have insurance and you just tell them you need someone to speak to and that will assist you Okay, talking to someone is very, very, very important, especially when you're isolated. Number two is using your mission 
as inspiration, right? Because a lot of you guys don't know this, but you're here for a reason. You're all here for a reason. You all have missions in this reality, in this realm, dimension, lifetime. You all have missions. You're here for a reason. You're going through all of this for a reason. And it feels good in a sense when you can grab on to that notion and know that God put you here to assist. God put you here to assist others, to help others. And once you can put that, it's kind of like somewhat, you can look at it this way, just for right now, right? Just to get your mind off of your depression, just to get your mind off of the situation and circumstances that you are currently in. You can look at it as ser service before self. Anytime, I know for me, anytime I'm helping or assisting somebody else, it makes me feel so good. And I don't have to be so negative and hard on myself because I know that somebody is getting something out of what I'm saying. Somebody's getting something out of what I'm doing. And that makes me feel good. And it, it makes me kind of look at life differently. Look at my circumstances and situations differently. Somebody else needs you a little bit more than your self-pity, self-doubt, self-loathing. Right? Somebody needs you a little bit more. And once you assist, it makes you feel that much better. And sometimes you ignore the situations or circumstances, feelings, a negativity, they go away. Number one, and of course, last but not least, number one for right now is gratitude. Gratitude. So a lot of times when you get into these negative concepts and, and feeling low, sad, and what have you, things aren't going the way you plan them to be. <laughs> I often, it's like, you know, you'd be like, damn, what is going on? But what you can do is have gratitude. Gratitude is very important. If we could take a look at what we have, because oftentimes people don't do this, if you take a look at everything that you have in life, you can see how truly, truly grateful and how truly, truly blissed you are. This world is so logistical. There's so many things inside of this world that we take for granted. And had I not had my awakening, I would have never saw the realization of this world. I would have never saw the real things that take place on this planet. And how you are so much more than what your eyes can perceive. Your perception of things inside of your depression is fucking things up, right? It's messing things up. It's messing you up. Because when you come outside of the matrix, you're going to be depressed. It is going to be expected. But when you can look take yourself back and look at all the things that you are grateful for. It changes everything. It really does. It changes everything. Food, water, clothing. My awakening is what I'm so truly grateful for because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have been able to explain those things that I just explained to you how majestical the world is, how grateful I am just to be here and to have a mission that I'm just not figuring out what it is, you know? So gratitude, if we're grateful and if we can sit back and think about how grateful we are for the little things that we have, the things that don't cost nothing, then a part of that depression, majority of that depression will go away if you really truly sit with yourself and look at how blissed you are. There are things and situations and circumstances, people, places and things, situations and circumstances that we are put in, but it's for a reason. And we, I'm grateful for every situation, every circumstance, that I had been put in because it's brought me to a better place in my life. And when we are grateful, 
number one, we're able to receive. But prior to that number one, number two, we're able to receive. But prior to number one, we're able to uh, see that depression is minuscule. It's so small. And the, in the grand scheme of things, all of those things that I had just explained are greater than my depression. And sometimes we have to go through depression in order to get to the other side. And I'm grateful for everything that i ever gone through. Even this, you know, the, the recent bout of depression that I was in, I'm still, I'm grateful because I've learned some valuable lessons. And um, it makes me see the beauty behind this journey. All right? So be grateful. Be glad. Be, be very grateful, have a gratitude journal, and start writing everything that you're grateful for and the, the reasons why you are grateful for them, okay? All right, I love you guys. I hope you guys were able to understand what I was trying to convey. Thank you for watching.